Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Syami bin Muhammad Al-Fendi Berjaya full berhad list on the main market of Bursa Malaysia Securities Berhad Berjaya full berhad list of Malaysia based investment holding company and it is classified as Syariah Compliance which be approved by Syariah Advisory Council Security Commission Malaysia This means berjaya full berhad through the subsidiary will engage in development and operation of restaurants Cafe Kings and Ruti Outlet all around Malaysia. Company has been class- classified as Sharia permissible for investment based on the company compliance with Sharia principle in terms of its primary business and investment activity as well as financial position. Hi, I'm Hani Sofia. This is CSR program of Berjaya Food Berhad and I'm going to share first about community part. Berjaya Food Berhad successfully organized five programs in 2019 which is the first one is contributions to COVID-19 frontliners. The second one is Hope Worldwide Malaysia's Ceria Raya Bersama. Uh, the third one is Hope Worldwide Malaysia's Could Earth Run and uh, they organize Zero Hunger Program and the last one is Kenny Roger Roster Chess Community Program. Meanwhile, in 2020, they're still ongoing with the uh, contributions to COVID-19 from Linus but at on the sponsorship uh, apprenticeship program or SAR which is uh, they contribute to student at SMK Taman Desa and add on with the last food project for underprivileged and the last one still with the Kenny Roger Roster Community Chess Program to the children. I think that's all. We move to the next content from the next presenter. Hi, my name is Yashan Kriya Harmukam. I will continue with the next dimension of CSR which is workplace. As you can see, Ujjaya Food Group has conducted a lot of activities to maintain the high standard of their employees. According to the annual report of Ujjaya Food Group in year 2020 and year 2021, we can see that the activities they conducted were mostly similar and some were improvised in terms of name and also events according to the current situation. As we can see, in year 2020, there were employees' health and safety and also employee engagement separately, which they merged together as employee engagement and well-being in year 2021. But they both still share the same objective, which is to encourage a good relationship among the employees and also to create evidence about physical and mental health of employees. In order to achieve the objective, Bajaya Food Group has conducted a mini health fair in year 2020 and the similar talk were conducted in year 2021 but in virtually. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Alia Najwa Binti Abdul Ghani, metric number 055352. Today, I will present my part marketplace. Bajaya Food Focus their product in Malaysia and international market. They are three main business for Berjaya Food. First is Kenny Roger Roster. Based on annual report on 2020, Kenny Roger Roster mainly focused on Malaysia and USA. On June 2020, there are total 77 restaurants in Malaysia. And for June 2021, Kenny Roger Roster decreased on 75 restaurants in Malaysia. Second is Starbucks Coffee. For 2020, Starbucks coffee available in 50 states in Malaysia and 360 stores at Nationwide. On February 2040, Starbucks opened their store at Brunei and now there are four stores in Brunei. For 2021, Starbucks coffee increased to 327 on Nationwide. And lastly is Jolly Bean Food. For 2020, Jolene Bean Food have five outlet in Malaysia, and in March 2020, Jolene Bean Food open newest concept, which is first halal certificate in Singapore. And for 2021, Jolene Bean have been decreased in three outlet in Malaysia. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you to the previous presenters. So for the environmental CSR, they focus more on waste management, paper usage, energy, and also uh, water conservation. So for the waste management, Stabat launched a program called the Ground for Your Garden, which is they sell one kilogram bags of soil-enriching used coffee, which is a 
which is a good fertilizer for plant and for the pepper usage uh, Kenny Rogers and also Jollibean Food uh, exchange their plastic bags into biodegradable bags and for the energy, 70% of Starbucks stores uh, switch into LED lighting and also 20% of the Starbucks stores use inverted air conditioner to reduce the usage of the electricity and lastly for the uh, water conservation, uh, Starbucks exchange their pipe into the auto closed water faucet which is to reduce the usage of the water so that's all from me thank you the next part is corporate government practices by berjaya food berhad in 2020 there are three main principles the first principle is principle a which is board leadership and effectiveness the first is board responsibility the board is responsible for the performance and effort of the group and to provide leadership and guidance for the setting strategy direction for the group. The second is board uh, committee. The board has established audit and risk management, nomination, remuneration, employees uh, share scheme and sustainability committee to support the board in the charging its offsite function. The second is principle B which is effective audit and risk management. The first is assessment of external auditors. The assessment process involved identifying the areas of assessment, setting the minimum standard and devising tools to obtain the related data. The second is risk management and internal control. The board does delicate and trust the ARMC which comprise uh, a majority of independent directors with the overall responsibility to regularly review and monitor risk management activities of the group and all internal controls. The third principle is principle C which is integrity in corporate reporting and meaningful relationship with stakeholders. The first is communication with stakeholders. The company recognizes the importance of being transparent and accountable to its shareholders and use various channels of communication to enable the board and management to communicate continuously. The second is leverage technology to remote participation and voting by shareholders. In the view of the COVID-19 pandemic as the part of the company's precautionary measures and initiative, the AGM of the company has been held on a virtual, uh, fully virtual basis through live streaming from the broadcast venue and online remote voting. That's all for me. My name is Darwani Abdul Hub. The corporate governance practice in 2021 which made references to the three key corporate governance principles. Principle A, board leadership and effectiveness. The board is supported by the company secretaries. The company secretaries plays an important role in facilitating the overall compliance with the company's acts. 2016. The board currently has six members comprising three independent non-executive directors including the chairman, the CEO, and two non-independent non-executive directors. Principle B. Effective Audit and Risk Management. The external auditor will write assurance confirming their independence throughout the conduct of the audit engagement and required to declare their independence annually to the ARMC. The internal auditors are responsible for preparing and serving the internal audit reports on a quarterly basis to the ARMC and to highlight areas for improvement for each of the operating units within the group. Principle C, integrity in corporate reporting and meaningful relationship with the stakeholder. Okay, the company fully recognized the right of the shareholders and importance of shareholder specifications at the company's general meeting and encourage them to exercise their rights at such meetings. And they are doing full voting, the administrative guide for the AGM with deterrent registrations and voting procedure with distributed to the shareholders. That's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Azwani Binti Mohamed. Now I will present the conclusion. From this presentation, we can see that there are a little bit of differences between year 2020 and 2021 in Berjaya Food Berhad, especially in CSR part, which they have slightly changed in 2021 compared to 2020 so that the CSR program suitable with the current situation. It is because they want to achieve their vision and mission. That's why they make an improvement for the next year. We hope Berjaya Food Berhad would sustain and maintain their excellent products and services for their lovely customers. That's all from us. Thank you.